Whenever we harvest vegetables from our garden, we often throw away the leaves and peels, assuming they're useless. However, these scraps are packed with nutrients that can benefit our plants. Instead of discarding them, we're going to show you how to turn these vegetable scraps into a powerful, homemade liquid fertilizer to help your garden flourish. It's an easy, efficient method that uses materials you already have. To get started, gather all the vegetable leaves, peels, and scraps you'd normally toss away after harvesting. Ensure the scraps are clean and avoid anything rotten or moldy, as they can negatively impact your fertilizer. Once you've collected your scraps, chop them into smaller pieces. This step is essential because smaller pieces decompose faster and release nutrients more effectively. Next, take a handful of the chopped scraps and put them into a blender. Add just enough water to make blending easier and process the scraps into a green liquid. This nutrient-packed juice is the foundation of your fertilizer. Pour this liquid into a large bucket. About five gallons is ideal. Repeat the process until you've blended all the vegetable scraps. Now it's time to enhance your fertilizer mixture. Add a small handful of compost or manure to the bucket. This addition provides extra nutrients and introduces beneficial microbes that promote healthy plant growth. If you don't have compost or manure, you can skip this step, but including it will make your fertilizer much more effective. Once the compost is added, pour in non-chlorinated water to nearly fill the bucket. If you have rainwater, use it instead, as it's chemical-free and gentle on the microbes. If you must use tap water, let it sit for 24 hours beforehand, so the chlorine can evaporate. Chlorine can harm the beneficial microbes in your mixture, so it's best avoided. The next step is to add a small amount of brown sugar, about a handful. Although this might seem unusual, brown sugar is a crucial ingredient. It acts as a food source for the microbes, encouraging them to multiply and break down the vegetable scraps more efficiently. Stir the mixture thoroughly to combine all the ingredients. Cover the bucket loosely with a lid. The lid should not be airtight, as the fermentation process produces gases that need to escape. Place the bucket in a cool, shaded location where it won't be disturbed, and let it sit for at least seven days. During this time, the microbes will break down the vegetable scraps, transforming the mixture into a nutrient-rich fertilizer. Be prepared for a strong smell when you open the bucket. This odor is a sign that the fermentation process has worked. Before using your homemade fertilizer, dilute it with water to prevent it from being too strong for your plants. A ratio of one part fertilizer to 10 parts water is ideal. Once diluted, pour the fertilizer around the base of your plants, taking care to avoid applying it directly to the leaves, as this can cause damage. This liquid fertilizer is rich in essential nutrients, such as nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus. It also contains beneficial microbes that improve soil health and help plants absorb nutrients more effectively. Your plants will respond quickly, growing stronger and healthier with lush leaves and increased yields. By turning vegetable scraps into fertilizer, you're not only improving your garden, but also reducing waste in an eco-friendly way. It's a simple and sustainable process that anyone can do, and the results are truly rewarding. Whether you're growing vegetables, flowers, or herbs, this fertilizer will make a noticeable difference. The next time you harvest vegetables, think twice before throwing away the scraps. They can be turned into liquid geode for your garden. Thank you for watching. If you found this guide helpful and want more gardening tips, please like subscribe, and check out our other videos for more sustainable gardening ideas.